Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about the bool query in Elasticsearch using Kibana dashboard. Okay, so there are a lot of videos on my channel where I have discussed about the Elasticsearch queries and we were using the Kibana dashboard to run those queries. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, just uh, check out my playlist for the Elasticsearch and Kibana and there you will find all of the videos that I have covered here. You can see this okay so you can see this these are the uh, playlist where I have covered the elastic search and Kibana related queries we have discussed about the CRUD operations match and match all query for G query fetch particular field query and gram search query so all those queries we have implemented here in this uh, playlist so you can go and check it out today in this video we are going to discuss about the bool query how we can write the bool query in Elasticsearch. So before going to write the bool query, let me try to uh, bring you to the Elasticsearch site and let, let me try to show you how the bool query we can write. Okay, so Elasticsearch. Bool query, okay. If you'll search for it, you can see this go there and here we come. This is the definition of the bool query and uh, it also defines what all the things you can uh, implement in the bool query. Okay, so let me try to read it out for you. So a query that matches document matching Boolean combination of other queries. Okay, so basically the bool query is Boolean combination of other queries. So let's say we have the must query or we have some match query, filter query, should query. So Boolean query is nothing but it is a combination of all these queries. Okay. So this is what it is telling that a query that matches document matching Boolean combination of other queries. Okay. The bool query maps to Lucene Boolean query. It is built using one or more Boolean clause each clause with typed occurrence okay the occurrence types are you can see uh, the other bool query or the combination of bool query can be must filter should must not okay so you can combine any of these queries inside the bool query and get the result so if you go down you can see this is the format of the bool query so you can see this is the query and inside the query you have to type the bool query and then you can have most of the independent queries like must filter must not should and they are combined together inside the bool query and give you the result so this is the uh, this is the agenda how the bool query is working and this is about the bool query okay so now let me try to go to the kibana and uh, try to log in there and try to log into the elastic search as well so i have installed the elastic search and kibana using docker desktop so both of them are up and running kibana is up on the port number 5601 and elastic search is up on the port number 9200 you can see this so let me try to go to the browser and locally try to hit it so if you'll go for the elastic search it is 9200 and uh, kibana is on port number 5601 Okay, so let me try to go to the 5601 as well. So you can see this is the Kibana dashboard. If you'll go here on the top left and go to the dev tool, this will open up the console for you where you can run your queries. Okay, so I already have created a couple of indexes. So one of the index I have, I will try to do a search query on that index and then try to show you what all the records or what all the documents I have inside those that index and then we'll try to run the bool query in that okay so let me try to show you so let me try to go down and write the query for it so one of the query uh, sorry one of the index I have is uh, products so I'm just going to do a search in the product index so just let me try to run it and here we go we can see uh, we have total seven hits and if you'll go down 
you can see the first one is this second is uh, this is like this index name is products and it contains the document related to the product itself so you can see we have the product id we have the product name and price and the quantity so the first uh, let's say this is the first product or document for the first product which is id is 101 and the name is mobile price is 20000 and the quantity is 1 similarly we have the other products as well like 102 laptop price and the quantity 103 is tablet then we have the uh, 104 which is tablet charger and its price is 1000 and now we have the mobile charger price is 1000 similarly we have the laptop charger which price is 5000 now i just want to write the query which is a bool query and here we'll try to write the inside the bool query we'll try to write uh, let's say uh, must not and filter okay so let me try to design the bool query here so you have to do a get and it would be inside the product underscore search and uh, let me try to keep a open and close parenthesis here and here we'll try to write the query so just write query and inside the query we have to write the bool query so bool if you are confused about it you can directly go to the elastic search and here you can see this is the format of the bool query but yeah let me try to write it myself so you have to write the query inside the query it is a bool query and now let me try to include the uh, one independent query which is must query or must not query so what i want to do is i just want to include all those products whose price is less than or must not be less than 5000 something like that okay so let me try to write the query for that so it is must not okay and uh, let's say the range so when you provide the range it will give you the field name so let's say the field name is price and the price should be uh, let me try to remove the greater than or equal to and let's say the price should be should not be less than or equal to so let's say less than or equal to 5000 okay and let me try to run it so you can see we have written the bool query and inside that i have only one independent query okay which is a must not query now let me try to run it and then show you so here you can see we have the four hits and if you go down uh, you will find it like 101 so the product id 101 which is mobile and its price is 20000 if you go down laptop price is 60000 tablet 30000 so you can see we have the three products okay and all of them have the price greater than 5000 which is what the query is it must not be less than or equal to 5000 that means it should be greater than or equal to 5000 so this query is perfectly working fine now what i want to do is i just also want to uh, filter out the name like based upon the name also i just want to filter out okay so let me try to include the filter query here as well so let's say uh, where the most query starts it start and ends here now inside the bool query i have to write the filter as well so let's say filter and we want to apply like how we try to filter out the product based upon the name similarly we are going to do the same thing here as well as we already have one earlier query which is must not query which is applied on the price which should be not less than or equal to 5000 and then we are going to filter out based upon the name of the product okay so filter and let me try to filter the term you have to provide the field name so let's say name here you can see in the right side it is name and then you have to provide the name of your product so let's say uh, here you can see tablet right so let me try to uh, look for the tablet here or you can also look for the 
uh, laptop so let me try to run this and here we go you can see in the hit we have only one so if you go down you can see you are find you are able to find the tablet here so in the bool query what we did we have written one most not query in the most not query what we are doing we are just uh, looking for the product whose price must not be less than or equal to 5000 that means it should be more than or equal to 5000 which is coming here and the product should also be as a tablet the product name should be tablet so this is what coming here okay so this is how you can write the bool query which would be the combination of more than one queries or more than one independent query here you can see I have written the must not and the filter let's say you want to filter out based upon the uh, like you have the range defined here and now you want to filter out the product which is uh, let's say uh, less than like its price is less than uh, 5000 so it should not be giving us the result let me try to show you uh, which product has the price less than 5000 so if you'll I have searched it here so it is coming all of the products what uh, whatever there in the uh, index products so if you go down you can see the mobile has the price 20,000 and laptop 60,000 tablet 30,000 tab tablet charger okay so let me try to search for the tablet charger here so the first uh, query is it won't include the product whose price is less than 5,000 and the second query is looking for the particular product whose price is 1000 so let me try to see what is the result okay so let me try to run it and here we go we are not getting any result because both of them are combined together are not able to find that particular product that both of them are mismatching so that is why we are not able to get the result here so this is about the bull query and if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content and if you know uh, how to implement the query dsl for the others elastic search query then it is good if you don't know then there are a lot more videos on my channel and you can go and watch it out how to implement the query dsls in the form of spring boot apis and if you need the query DSL for the bool query as well then let me know so that I can make a, another video on that okay so thanks for the support and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks